Stas here. We're doing something a little different today. Today we are going to do a little review of the Mangroves Jacks single, um, single Hop IPA with Simcoe. So I've never done one of these before. Um, this is a new experience for me. Well, I've done the uh, old Kitten Kilo with Can, but never with one of these packs. Um, it's got dry hops in it. I think we're using Mangroves uh, M44, Mangrove Jacks M44 yeast. Uh, unfortunately, I decided not to do a yeast taster with the starter for this one uh, because I'm, I wanted to try and see uh, how I go brewing just basics. Because uh, I've, I've been chatting to a few uh, friends of mine who brew Kitten Kilo. I've been tasting some uh, some potential off flavours. So I want to know if it's Kitten Kilo or what they're doing. Or I'm just trying to eliminate variables. So this is an experiment for me. So first things first, uh, I've already put one kettle of water in here, but I've bought some water. So now I should have three litres in there. Now, sanitise scissors and potentially create a horrible mess. I don't know if there's one pack in here or a pack within a pack, or I guess I'm gonna try to cut this close to the Vacuum seal as possible. Alright, put them back in the sanitizer. Now what do we got? Oh, okay. So there's a um I might bring you over. So you can see here there's a wet part and a dry part. Let's see if I can fish out what's in here. Without okay, so this looks like this is the M44 yeast and dry hops. And what else is in here? Instructions. You can get these online. That's how I knew what I was doing, kind of. Before I did this. If you want to pause that and have a read, just scan it. Uh, yeah, so we, we've already put the uh, three liters in and uh, we're just gonna put the liquid in and stir it up. I'll see if I can put you back without making a mess of everything. We also get to see how uh, long it takes to brew. My normal brew days are about five hours from start to finish. Actually, a bit of check if there's anything else in here. No, nothing else. That's good. All right, leave my spoon in there, which is all san this has all been sanitized. Um, oh God, I'm trying to tip it on the spoon. Uh, yeah, so I chose to do this because I know I'm gonna stay at home dad and stuff and I should have a lot of time, but uh, with the kids, it's just hard to, to brew five hours. I'm trying to break up my brew days into uh, two sessions, but even that's hard because um, I, I have to brew outside a lot. Um, so yeah, I decided to give this a whirl and I think it was Dino, Tube Dino's, uh, did a review of a bottle that his mate sent him and yeah, so I thought I'd just give this a try. Keep the kegs full and everything. Um, this is gonna take a long time to get out. I should have warmed this up. I'm gonna try to squeeze it. But yeah, it's still a bit in here. Let's see if we can get this last little bit out. Hi, Charlotte. Yes, bub. No, it's too cold. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to get... Okay, done. I want to practice putting fires out. Are you going to be a firefighter? Quick, there's a fire over there! You better, you better pretend to put it out. There's a fire, 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 fire. I don't have to get it. Alright, I think that's enough. That's pretty much all of it out. I should probably squeeze it out, but I just find can't be bothered and I don't have any water to do it with. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Bitter. All right. I also need to get this maltodextrin in. Not maltodextrin, DME. Cut this. <clears throat> now you could use, um, DME or Brew Enhancer, which is uh, I think it's 50% DME, 50% dextrose. 
And the dextrose will um, dry out the beer um, a bit more. Uh, this is only going to be uh, like a single IPA, not a double IPA, so I, I didn't want it too dry. I don't tend to like my IPAs dry. I like it a little more on the sweet, malta, sweet, sweeter, maltier side. Um, yeah. So I'll just stir this in for a minute. Um, and then I'm going to add uh, up to 23 litres, I think, this is the instructions, with cold water. Um, I think I've got 19 litres there, uh, which has already been treated with Camden tablets. Uh, in Newcastle, we've got quite heavily chlorinated water. Um, the water profile is a fairly soft water profile. Uh, I probably, being an IPA, I'd probably like to put some um, calcium chloride in there just to make the hops pop a little bit. But as I said, I'm going back to basics um, at the moment with this brew. So, um, yeah. Well, uh, you know, most of the malt uh, bits have dissolved. There's a bit on the side, but it doesn't matter if it's not totally dissolved because um, uh, the yeast will eat it up anyway. So, on for the water, and I'll probably break my back doing this because I can't stand up properly. Okay, it's pretty much all of our water. We're right on 23, give this a good stir, get the oxygen in, make sure it's all mixed around. The instructions say as long as it's over under 25, which we're sort of just over. Maybe, maybe I'll just throw caution to the wind, pretend I don't know what I'm doing, and do it anyway. So as long as my sanitation practice is good. So I've got a nice lot of foam on top now. So, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is 26. I'm about to put it in the freezer so the temperature is going to come down and we're pitching on top of foam rather than directly onto the wart, so I'm going to say screw it. Bet you over here. Whoa, oh, that smell of the yeast. Oh, what is it? It almost smells like blue cheese or something. That's all right. Anyway, let's close her up. Mm. Yeah, look in. There we go. All right. So we're ready to go into the fridge. Let's just turn it on. Right, 17 degrees, so it's set to... I'm gonna go smack bang in the middle. I'm gonna go 20. It was said ferment between, I think it was 18 and 22. So, uh, open this up. Get ready for it. Oh, God. Oh. Right. So it's in there. I'm going to get something for the temperature probe, sit. Just a little bit of cardboard. It's not perfect, but you know, that'll do. Put that in there, so we're trying to read the beer temp as much as possible. So this says we're at 26 degrees. What does the temperature probe say? All right, I've given it a couple of minutes to uh, get used to the temperature. And um, yeah, we're still climbing slowly, but the uh, freezer's gonna come on soon and hopefully start to chill that down. But yeah, we'll take a gravity sample and then we are done. This has just been about mm, 20 minutes or so. Not including 
uh, sanitation and clean up. All right, so we're finished. Do you want to be in the video too, you yeah. Okay. Ugh. So we finished. Mm -hmm. This is the beer. Yeah. Uh, we finished at 1048. Well done, Daddy. Oh, thanks. Uh, and so this is probably going to be about a 5% oh, beer or, or thereabouts, which is good because... Oh, a great beer. Hopefully a great beer, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, all the ones on tap at the moment are uh, a lot higher than that. So let's have a see what it tastes like. What's that smell like to you? Hops. Hops. Grain. Yeah, it's more grain than hops. Not terribly hoppy. Certainly not getting the Simcoe. See what it tastes like. What? It's quite bitter. Mm. What does that taste? You can have a taste if you like. I don't think you'll like it. No. Don't worry. No alcohol in this one. Yet. Mmm. No. Not getting very much flavour at all, um, other than the malt. I might taste. You want to taste? Uh, but I need to get used to it. <laughs> I don't think so. You're not going to be drinking beer for a long time. What? Yeah. Okay. Just have a little tiny sip. Sour. Bitter. Yeah, but it's also quite sweet, isn't it? Charlotte's not a very big sweet tooth. <gasps> Don't tell them! Oh, it's a secret. It's a secret, so just forget that. <laughs> Alright, shall we say goodbye? Bye! Bye everybody, see Bye. you in about seven to ten days.